everyone, my name is Ashley and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share something with you guys that I don't think a lot of people know I collect, um, which is Disney mugs. I have so many Disney mugs, like there's a specific cabinet in my kitchen dedicated to Disney mugs. I am um, like obsessed with them. And I really love watching other people's collection videos, just seeing the different things that people collect, seeing, you know, what goes into that collection, all the different items that everybody has. So I thought it'd be really fun to share my mug collection with all of you guys. Um, I do have quite a few mugs, so this is probably gonna be a two-part video. So here we go with part one. Um, so I'm actually gonna take you guys out into my kitchen to look at these mugs just so I don't have to bring all of them in here. Cause again, there's so many of them. So I really hope that you guys are gonna enjoy this video and enjoy seeing all of the different mugs that I have. So we're gonna go ahead and just get right on into it. Okay guys, so here is my mug cabinet. And as you can see, there are tons of mugs in here. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right guys, so here is the first mug. This is from the 60th anniversary of Disneyland. And they did release a whole collection uh, for like the different decades with this Disneyland D handle. This one is 1950, or sorry, 1995 through 2004. This is the only one that I was able to purchase, but I really love this one. So you can see at the bottom, it says Disneyland Resort. We have Heimlich eating the candy corn. Uh, we have Genie. We've got like some California adventure stuff in the background, like the fun wheel and um, California Screamin', which is now the Incredicoaster. We've got the Grizzly River Rapids. At the top, we have Pooh Bear and Abu. So I just thought this one was super cute. And then it just has that same image on the back. And the inside is just this really pretty blue color that matches the handle. So here is the next mug. This one I really love. It is supposed to look like the Mad Hatter's hat. So this would be like the brim of his hat. Um, we've got like his little card here. And then I love like the little uh, leaf detailing that's all over the mug. The inside is just a plain brown. And then on the back side of the mug, it has the little drink me like tea tag and it says mad as a hatter. So here is the next mug. This one, it is obviously an Alice in Wonderland mug, and it's supposed to look like three little teacups kind of stacked on top of each other. So I really like that. The top cup has the little drink me sign or little like tea tag. The middle cup has just like the flower detail with the leaves. And then the bottom cup has an image of Alice and the Mad Hatter and tons of different quotes. We're all simply mad about tea, curiouser and curiouser. I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. And then it just kind of carries all through to the back side of the mug. I also really love the handle on this mug. I think that looks really pretty. And then the inside is just plain black. This next mug I really love. I think it is so gorgeous. I've just actually never used it. The handle is a little bit funky. It's kind of weird feeling when you're actually holding it. But I love the way that it looks. And this is a princess mug. So all over the mug we have different princesses. So we have Cinderella in blue, Rapunzel in purple, Belle in yellow, Aurora in like pink and blue, and then Ariel in green. So I really love this mug. I think it is just so pretty. The images of the princesses all look wonderful. I love this one. And then the inside is just a uh, pretty pink. You can kind of see it there, pretty pink. This next mug is one that I really love. It is this giant mug with Marie on the front. I love like the pretty blue color. We've got a little bow right here. And then on the back, there's a couple more bows and it says Disneyland Resort. I think this one is gorgeous. And then the inside is this really beautiful, like baby pink kind of color. So next up is another huge mug and one of my favorites. This is the Haunted Mansion wallpaper mug. I love the way that this looks. I use this like every Halloween season. Um, it just has that uh, wallpaper design all over the mug. And then on the inside of the mug, it is like this really nice dark purple. And on the bottom, it says, hurry back. You can kind of see that. So, so fun. 
so next up we have another Alice in Wonderland mug. This is again supposed to look like the Mad Hatter's hat. It's just a slightly different version of that. So you can see the saucer is supposed to be like the brim of the hat. We have the little card here. And this one has a lot more detail. So we've got like the painting, the rose is red right there. We've got the dormouse and the teapot. It says Mad Tea Party, um, the white rabbit stopwatch, and then a little teacup. And then the actual like design on the mug is just all these different little icons. It's really cute. And then those icons just carry all the way around the mug. And then the inside is just a dark green. I think it's the same color as the little icons here on the front. So next up we have yet another Alice in Wonderland mug and this is from like the sketch series I think. So it just features different like sketch drawings of Alice all around the mug and then we have this nice giant like colored uh, completed image of her. But I just love this. I love looking at the different sketches. It is so so cute. Oh we got her name right there as well. And then the inside is just the nice blue, same color as the handle. So here is the next mug. This one is another Disneyland Resort mug and this one features like the Fab Five characters as babies doing like Disneyland attractions. So up here we have Mickey and Pluto on Autopia. Here we have Goofy on the Matterhorn bobsleds and we've got the Yeti behind him. Goofy looks a little startled. Here we have Donald going on um, the Haunted Mansion. And then we have Minnie taking a ride in the teacups with the Mad Hatter. I think this mug is adorable. I use this one quite a lot. The inside is just this really nice baby blue color and then it also has an image of the castle. Super cute. So this is one of the oldest mugs that I have. Um, this is actually kind of what started my whole Disney mug collection. So this is like an Alice in Wonderland mug and they did have a whole s collection of this like with this style, like art style on there. They had teacups, they had tea saucers, and they also have a teapot, which I do also have the teapot. So I love the image on here. I think that it looks so beautiful. And then the handle has like this really pretty design and this gold kind of trim. The gold trim is around the bottom and around the brim as well. On the back side of the mug, we just have that same image. On the inside, it is just this really nice white color, just like the rest of the mug. But right here, we have a cute little bread and butterfly. I love that little detail. So this is another one of my favorite mugs. I got this in the Wonderground Gallery a long time ago, and it's this really beautiful style of Main Street USA. So this is like as if you're walking down Main Street, we've got the Candy Palace here, we've got the Penny Arcade, we've got some pixie dust, ice cream, um, the little cafe, the Crystal Arcade, and then the Emporium. I love this mug and this is kind of designed like the Starbucks You Are Here mugs. So it is still stackable with those mugs. And then the inside is just this really beautiful blue color. I love this one so much. Next up we have this little tiny Pooh Bear mug and you can't really tell from the camera but this one is pretty small. Um, but on the front we have Pooh Bear and he's like spelling out his name. He is like a raised detail. I don't know if you guys can tell but it is like a 3D element. And then on the back side we have this little saying, Winnie the Pooh climbed the honey tree and as he climbed he hummed a little song. So from the Winnie the Pooh movie and then we've just got these different images of Pooh Bear. Super cute. The inside of this mug is just that bright yellow, the same color as the handle and the little trim right there. So here is another Winnie the Pooh mug. This one just looks like a little beehive. It says honey on the side. We've got a cute little bee down here. And then we have honey dripping out all over the rim. Super cute. And the inside of this mug is white. Next is an Eeyore mug. I really love this one. Um, 
this one is also like have some 3D elements. You can kind of tell, but not really. So right here we have um, Eeyore in his little house. We've got a rain cloud. And then we have another image of Eeyore over here looking at some thistle bushes. The handle I really love because it's like Eeyore's tail and it has his little bow right there at the top. And the inside is just that really pretty lavender color that's the same as the handle. Here is another mug that I love very, very much. I use it all the time during Halloween season. It looks like the Evil Queen's poison apple. I love that. So we've got like the red mug and then we've just got the white poison dripping down and that goes all around the mug and you can definitely see there are like the 3D elements. Super cool. And then the inside is just that nice like apple red color. So next up we have a Jack Skellington mug. I love this one. It just looks like Jack's face but it's like a super cutesy version of him. So we've got his eyes. It's got his nose, which is a 3D element. The eyes are kind of sunken in a little bit. And then we've got his mouth that goes all the way around the bottom. The handle is pretty cool. It looks kind of like the, the curly hill. And then the inside is just a plain white. Okay, so next up we have another Jack Skellington or Nightmare Before Christmas mug. I really love the color of this one. We've got Jack making a super scary face. At the bottom, we just have a bunch of uh, residents of Halloween Town. And then on the back side, we have the same thing. Jack just making that super scary face. And the inside of this mug is black. So next up, we have this Baymax mug. It is just a plain white mug. We've got Baymax eyes on the front. But what I really love is on the back, we have the little band or like the little uh, piece of tape. <laughs> that is so cute. The inside is just a plain white, but it does have these little like faces on here. So I kind of take it like, oh, if you have, if your coffee's at the top, like you're not ready to do anything. And then when the coffee's all gone, you're super happy and ready for your day, <laughs> but really cute. So, oh my goodness, we have another Alice in Wonderland mug. This one is really cute. It's just the Cheshire Cat's like nose and his grin. So when you're drinking from the mug, like your the lower half of your face gets replaced by his, pretty cute. So I love that, I love the Cheshire Cat. On the back of the mug, it says, almost everyone is mad here. Love that. And then the handle is uh, patterned like his tail. And the inside is just this really nice darker, slightly darker pink than the outside is. Kind of gives it a nice little contrast. So this is another one that I really like. It is the seagulls from Finding Nemo. And then at the top of the mug, we have the little mine, mine, that the seagulls are always screaming um, when they see the fish. And this one is cool because it does have some 3D elements to it as well. We've just got the seagulls all over the mug. These ones are screaming, really cute. On the handle, we have a couple more little seagulls, which I love. And then the inside is just a blue, but on the very bottom, you can kind of see there is another seagull screaming. <laughs> I love this one. And then the final mug I'm sharing with for this video is the Chip mug. So this one obviously just looks like Chip from Beauty and the Beast. We've got the handle as his nose his cute little face, this nice gold detailing all around. The backside is just plain because he, you know, is modeled just like the character. And then right here on the side, you can see they kind of painted a little chip into him. And the inside is just plain white. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed part one of this mug collection video. Part two, I'm probably just gonna upload for my next video. So if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you stay tuned for the second one to see the rest of this giant mug collection that I have. So leave a comment down below if you also collect Disney mugs. I'm really curious to see if anyone else out there has this crazy addiction like I do. Um, but if you don't collect mugs, let me know what some other things you actually do collect are. I'd love to know. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you as a part of this little Disney YouTube family here. Anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a magical day, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!